What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Ross. And listen, thank you guys always for tuning in to my show. Y'all already know I'm here to talk my shit. Because guess what? Some things need to be said. And who's better to say it but me? It's very important that we do not jump on the bandwagon of just siding with people. And we all have our favorites out there, right? We have our friends, we have our family, you know, we have the people that we feel like are rocking with us. And so we want to ride for those people no matter what. But let me explain to you guys where there's a thin line between corruption and doing the right thing. The direction that you all are going, this is exactly how corruption takes place. This is exactly how you get politicians siding with the wrong people because that person donated to their campaign you may not be on a campaign trail you may not be trying to buy somebody's vote but you're allowing yourself to be bought by a friendship by history and you know by whatever relationship that you have to someone this is where i separate myself from the hypocrisy i honestly try my best not to fall into the category of being a hypocrite and I, I don't think that a lot of you even understand what hypocrisy is because you live it every day and you don't think twice about it. It's very dangerous. We are living in a very dangerous time where anybody can throw out an allegation and because you feel like your friend's personality or your friend being there for you financially warrants you rooting for them more than you root for the truth if we all decided to side with our family member who we know is wrong side with our friend that we suspect is wrong that we know is wrong just because that's our friend we are in dangerous times because that means it's going to be the court of public opinion or however many people you have against you that is how you are going to be ruled as innocent or guilty i don't know if you all understand how serious that is because imagine If you're the type of person where society hates you for whatever reason, it could be for a personal reason. It it could be because you simply live uh, a poly lifestyle because you are LGBTQ or because you are somebody who has married and remarried and married and remarried again. And you have folks who live uh, solely according to the Bible where they believe that the first wife or husband, you cannot move forward unless that person is deceased. Imagine if your livelihood is in the hands of those type of people, you are doomed before you even have an opportunity to get started only because they dislike something about you. This is why I said, let's not get into that. I want I want you guys to stand on business by standing on your truth and by standing on what's right. Stop judging people and punishing people and sentencing people to social death without any evidence or proof just because you like somebody. Or just because you just went into business with somebody. Where are your moral boundaries? Where are your moral limitations? Or what are we doing? What does this world come to? Where nobody has a moral compass anymore. It, it doesn't matter if the person is just making an emotional accusation. It don't matter. They said it. I like that person. So guess what? I'm going to believe what that person says because I don't like that other person. That other person, you know had the wrong attitude one day when I went to their live and I didn't like the way they were talking to somebody else about something. So I'm just going to agree with this person over here because this person sounds less aggressive than that person. Just because a person is aggressive and controlling and dominant, that doesn't make them guilty. Because if that's the case, I'm guilty of a lot of things because I am damn sure aggressive, controlling, and You know, I stand on what I believe wholeheartedly. So I want you guys to make sure that you understand what you are doing. If society jumps on this thing that you're doing, it is not it's not going to go well, not even for you. So just remember every weapon that was made, every gun that was manufactured has been used on somebody who helped make that weapon. So just because you are for something does not mean it cannot be used against you. 
So I think you all need to think twice about these bandwagons that you're jumping on when you should be on the side of what's right. Um, but anyways, listen, you guys make sure you tune into my show Monday through Friday. You guys know where I am, WMRR Radio. We are the new wave. We got a lot of things coming up this year. Very excited about the partnerships that we've made. Um, you guys make sure you just follow us across social media because we are doing some big things moving forward. Y'all going to see us. Trust me. We ain't going nowhere.